Okay, I'm alive. Looks like I'm alive. What's the volumes doing? Can I get any little... I don't know if that makes any difference. I my output gear out of it though. Is that any better? I'm not sure. Sorry, I'm just trying to gauge audio here. Seems alright though. Right. Prey is a thing that's happening. Let's not do the options. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Let's put the brightness up a bit. Really set me on low. Right. Um, let's put all the volumes at eighty. Uh, subtitles, main dialogue, tutorials, and prompts. Vibration on, there's no controller installed. Uh, come above. Mouse settings. More sensitive mouse, put that at 40. I'm not used a controller. Okay. Let's do a new game. Alright, so I. Go with the blue key. I'm a blokey, apparently. Now entering my apartment. Oh, I've been looking forward to this. You wake up in your apartment in the year 2032. Oh wow, so it's not far off then. It's like 15 years in the future, but we're gonna have space stations and aliens and shit. Oh, milky tea. Perfect in every way. Of course, it's not scary yet. I've just started it. Is that auto saving or? It took a while to load. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Hey, the day after my birthday. Oh, it looks gorgeous. Okay, first day on the job, new objective. Put on your transtar uniform. Alex convinced me I'm going to join him aboard the Talos 1 space station. The work we're doing up there is too good to pass up, plus he says he's got a surprise. I have to jump through some hoops at the training centre before I can board the shuttle. Okay. That was quick. I'm not lying. The game has just started. Kingsway sparkling wine. <laughs> oh, cool, you're drunk. The method dot psi. What if I told you I could turn you a mathematician at the level of Einstein under 10 minutes? I'd say you'll follow it. That's the first thought that crossed my mind, but it withers in the face of Alex Yu's conviction. Despite myself, I'm riveted. He's not bullshitting himself. Bullshit me. Himself? Maybe. Me? No. 
Alex is back in his chair. Welcome to the need of the new role mod. Okay. So, uh, bits and bobs. Some emails. Congrats and welcome. Hello Morgan, so glad to hear you'll be coming aboard soon. Your first special workday is Monday, March 15th. But first we have a series of training exercises we run through with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight and we'll see you soon. Thomas Tucker, HR. Send the package of everything you need for the first day. Uniform, transcribe and neuro mode. Install the neuro mode right away as we run. Okay. Hey, just got off the phone with mom and dad. They won't believe they won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're in New York. Company stuff, but they send their best. I think mom's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside with the gravitational pull at the same time. She said you better behave and do everything your big brother says. Okay, actually she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So there you go, that's mom. Okay. Oh, so Alex is my brother. Alright, okay. Bathroom. Can you use the toilet? You can use the toilet. So was a sign of a good immersive sim that you can use the toilet. Morning, Mr. Yu. Right. Uh, roof. Okay, performance seems a little bit jerky for me, so uh, video shadows down. Let's see if that makes a difference. And here's a frozen video. That's great. Oh wait, there we go. Reloading textures. Having worked for a second, I was literally about to hit the close of the game. Okay, helicopter ride. Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Okay, Trans thank you. Transstar facility is just a short hop. And Bethesda's off with us. degrees. Clear skies all the way. I quite like how we put everything into the, the world. Oh, that's supposed to be on a space station. Waste of space to have just four seats this far apart in a helicopter. That's a nice view on the bay there. <laughs> Remember San Francisco? Loving the music. Eighties, isn't it? Pray. So soon that goes out of sight, and when I land, it won't be there. No, no. Here we are, Mister Yu. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Oh, there it's gone. Transfer. 
Hello, Dr. Gu. I'm weird. Sybil, 495, science class operator. My instruments are calibrated for high volume data analysis and live reading. Don't worry, nothing will be missed. Transtar has over a dozen state-of-the-art facilities across the globe. More, if you count the entire Earth Moon system. Everyone's eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Yu. I know I am. It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos 1. So I'm not on Talos 1 yet. Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test, if necessary. All our labs meet the minimum. All right, shut up. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Okay, lots of things talking at me all at the same time. I feel this is going down fast enough to qualify for weightlessness. Hey, look, I've got legs. Morgan, finally. Now, you're a big fella, aren't you? Hey, you don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. Okay. Can't get in that. Testing rooms. A. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. You're a creepy like fuck. We have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. Really? Am I? Good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Absolutely fine. <laughs> uh, let's move on to room B then. Okay. This is all very weird. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. What? Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Is he? He's hiding behind the chair. Hmm. Uh, any synaptic register at all? No? no? That's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. What was I supposed to do there? You're doing marvelous. Am I? Doesn't sound like it. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. I'm sorry, can someone please hey, explain to me what Hey, monkey! Me? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? The speaker's still on. What? I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. Fabulous. One last room. Let's step into D. Am I supposed to be doing badly at this? Can 
Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Where are you, boy? Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the hey, answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Okay. You're planning your vacation. Go somewhere familiar you love or try something new. Let's try something new. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Yes, I can, press, I can press buttons on the screen. You've been sent to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? <laughs> Afraid I don't know what will happen. Angry no one has that right. Calm. It was worth it. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause train to switch tracks, but there is one person tied to the second track. Good. Next. It was worth it. Runaway <laughs> train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Pushing to the track would stop the train. <laughs> Why don't you push the fat man and do nothing? That's harsh as fuck! Um. Almost done. Runaway train is bearing down on five people to the track. You could stop the train by jumping off the track, but you would die. Jump on the train. Hey, the horse butte. Jump on the tracks, push the fat man. I'll do nothing. I'll jump on the trucks. Wow. Push it. I'm impressed. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going Engage to display... Engage lurking, Sumi. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh... Oh! Oh! Did that thing eat his face? Have you dropped any frames? Nope. Zero oh. frames dropped. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Yes, I know it was a mimic. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Wait, what? Hey, it's a dragon raid. Hello, purple dragon. And golf forces raiding, too. Damn. Dare you drop bombs on my chat? Dare you? Dare you? <laughs> Are you alright? Uh, okay. I'm back where I started. Thank you for the horse dragon. No objectives. No inventory, no data. I need to just adjust my mouse sensitivity a bit. Put up a bit of 50. No, put up 60. Ah, it's better, a bit twitchier. Okay, so some again right here. Encyclopedia like Food Science and Cooking. Yeah, I'm not going to read that. Congrats. That's the walk. So it's all about cooking. He likes to cook, clearly. What's in there? It's just my closet. Okay. So something... Something ain't right. And I have an itchy face.
Might as well take all this shit. Might need it. Speech synthesis. Okay, not interested in that. Sure, what's going on? Okay, on top of balcony. Consciousness, firing the equations, midnight songs. Um, okay, weird should be happening. Patricia got spare parts and a wrench. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. Okay. Well, isn't that something? Okay, so I have to escape my apartment. Well, I just have to escape my apartment. I have been being observed. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. Sleeping. Wakes up, turns off alarm. Checks transcribe. On computer, various tasks take shower. Puts on uniform. Exits apartment. You've been on branches of our main product line. You know that sometimes we put extra effort to hit our milestones. Any external risks I'll take into account when these decisions are made. The move to extend indefinitely was a direct response from both requests from both Alex and Mo Oh shit, no. Fuck. Didn't mean to do that. It's about Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. Okay. I know this morning, morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Ms. Elazar and her security team are on high alert and will feel any requests you have. I know some worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in the trauma centre. is in critical but stable condition. Okay. Simulation debriefing. Um, so that's my apartment. I mean, that's just freaky. Um, oh, oh shit. Okay, they're in here with me. I feel like running is a good idea. I feel woefully under-equipped to deal with shit jumping out at me. Making start SKU is to. Okay. Who needs a password attached to their monitor? Password protection. Okay. If I knew of a wrench. Uh, Test results here are all negative. Something's making a, a mess. You still correct neuro mods, touch base with graves and figure out what went wrong, this should be absolutely highest priority. What the hell is making that noise? Okay. Absolute silence when simulation is progress, do not enter the stage unless in costume, do not interact with subject off script. The Hephaest the Hephaestus Hefe Twist and Loop Handle Wrench, standard issue for all maintenance personnel. 
Use mess once when you wrench. Important. Press an orb mess once to charge attack for maximum damage. Okay, so I do. Okay. Back of the sound stage here. Well, that doesn't look anywhere near as impressive as when I first came through here. Searching in so many ways. Quick segment those quick the alternates. Something in here is going to be a mimic. <laughs> Alex has request all orders go through him after Morgan's outburst of the debrief. Pending a psych evaluation, Alex indicated he doesn't want any more surprises from Morgan. Nor do we. Granted, Morgan had forgotten everything from the last test as expected, but the aggressive response to the same set of testing criteria was clearly the departure. My recommendation is we need to start charting personality drift before the future tests. Okay. Now, I know this game has a lot of jump scares with the mimics, so feel free to clip them if I do something funny. So I can hear. Search. Set wrench. I've got a wrench. Where'd Fuck, where'd it go? Where did the little bastard go? Ah, 
Go! Oh shit. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. Uh, okay. Right, okay. Back puss. Um. Next week's test, mini room data with new test plan, air effect, copycat, spooky action. I think Bellamy's taking data related to mimicry and remote manipulation. Oh, get to the trauma center and grab his key card off his to his cabin off his body. So this should okay. Uh, I'm fucking paranoid now. Experiment with different approaches to overcome challenges and enemies. You can get past the locked door by search for the key card, find an alternate path. Okay. Hack for that. Knew it! Motherfucker. Uh, okay. As soon as the white paper Alex Morgan wrote, here's the nutshell version of an app. Gaining a new skill from a mod works similar to the way your brain creates new memories. In fact, it's impossible for now to separate the changes the mod makes from a normal memory formation. So if I want to strip the neuro mod that makes you play a piano like Gustav Leitner, it will reset your brain back to the moment before you installed it. They want Morgan's mind pristine to receive the prototype neuro mods. Okay. So I'm getting experimented on. That's just not cricket. Fuck you, Mimic. We've got to look for basically there's multiples of something that shouldn't be here. Some results from the taste personality test. I'm seeing some drift over the last few trials compared with brief results. Um, daily tests. Dr. Bellamy, at this point, Morgan's exhaustion has inhibited our ability to get any useful results. That's to say, nothing of the long term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant near mod installation and removal. So not the same thing, you can't tell what names, but there's definitely been a spike in staff from your department reporting instances of acute anxiety. Okay, so people are fucking nervous. Oh shit. I'm, 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 I'm going to take that advice. Glue cannon. Okay, what does glue do? The Transtar glue cannon... Jellyform lattice organism obstructor, yeah, because that of course had to say glue, 
Disables and removalizes targets that harm them. Glue can extinguish flames and temporarily stop electric arcs. When hardened, glue can also be used as a climbable platform. Okay, interesting. I assume I have to use it here. Should these things get big? Okay, so oh shit, this thing only lasts temporarily. Fuck him out. Okay. Right, so the more tired I get, the less damage I do with the wrench. Many objects in Talisman can be repaired if you have the repair skill and the repair parts. Don't have the repair skill. Alright, near mod through here. 2% down, that should have it. Okay. How's the stream looking for everybody else? Okay, near modes and abilities. Near modes are relatively transfer invention, unless you know the new skills and abilities. Medical practice increase the effectiveness of med kits, so I can do hacking. I can do repair. Increase your health from 15, you start 105. Let's do repair, I think. Oh god, no! Fuck me. Why would you willingly stick that thing into your face? I knew you would pick that. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. Hang on a second, I want to go repair this thing and see what I can get out of it. Um, I need more spare parts. Fuck's sake. room. Don't give me one HP, did it? Um. Robert, Alice, thank God, no one else is, where are you? Hiding, I'm in the conference room. Jesus! You're still in the lab? I can't get out! There's... What the hell is security? I don't know what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevators. Someone said we're evacuating. Robert? Shh! Hang on. Someone's coming. Yeah, was it someone coming or something coming? Um, 
skill recording room. I take it we can't get into there yet. Um, no, I'm not going to guess. Uh, yes, I know about the favourites wheel. Been using it. Yes, confirm. Okay, so this is interesting so far. I've had a couple of scares. Mysterious contact named January is guiding you to the main lobby of this facility. So how is the stream looking, everybody? Is it looking all right? I think this is the first game I've had that's actually starting to tax this computer. That's a bit worrying. Yeah, that it's a really poorly optimized game. You made it. Ah, ready for your first real view of the world. Oh, shotgun shells. Okay, yeah, I'm in space. Space. Human resources. Humans are resources. Okay. This game officially has me paranoid. I'm going to mix them where they may be. What the hell is that? Oh! Oh no. Oh shit, I should not come in here. Oh. That was brown drills this time. That's in here. What's oh, Psy Hypos? So what are these? All right, so we can fabricate neuromods with them. Okay. Oh, this ain't good, is it? repairing in there, is it? Okay, that's a reflection. Right, it's up the stairs, I think. Keep the 
glue coming on, I think. Reload that bad boy. Um, shit, I don't know the password. What was the old... Um, fuck. Where the hell did I get that password from? Oh, hang on a sec. Let's go around this way. The only thing I don't like about that is that you don't have any immediate way of not getting hit. That makes sense. one kicking about, yeah. Alright, that's what. Fuck you. Finishing move on it. Yeah, okay. Another one? Okay, all right, okay. These, I suppose, look at code. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that might be fun later. Now, where's my office? My office is up there. Right, so I can't get through there. I wonder. <laughs> I wonder. No. Well, that was disappointing. Who are you? There's items in the bin. Materials. Okay, that's strange. Ah, okay, I'm over there. Oh, did I kill the cat here as well, did I? Marvelous. That's a trauma center right one up anyway. Glue time. Right. Okay. Trauma sent a key card. Oh, 
volunteer attitude. I'm going to need more support. The volunteers are agitated more than usual this morning. Eleven threatened to bash my head in if I didn't let him out to stretch his legs. When you get up here, the key code is 2214, not the old number on file. Okay. Uh, Dr. Ewe, I relayed your previous request and we'll see what we can do, but there are no guarantees. The schedule for the visit is tight and may not allow for a face to face. I'll let you know when I have more details and see the Bianca. Oh, wrong button, man. He can show it up, it was quite polite. He shook Lena's hand and was afraid of breaking him. I asked him to sign an album he brought. Good morning, Carlos. Breakfast is served in the cafeteria until 9 a.m. Everyone loves a bit of breakfast. There's one of the little skittery bastards in here. Oh, okay. I've got a turret to help me. Please move the remaining boxes to my new office in Neuromod Div as soon as feasible. Principles of neuroscience. The brain was once considered too warm, wet, and noisy for seemingly delicate quantum processes. However, the discovery of quantum coherence and biological processes such as plant photosynthesis, avian navigation, or odds and smell. Okay. Test subject, Sylvian. I'm trusting you with my brain. You do good work. And hopefully that continues. Listen, the test don't go well. It's okay. Screw you. Mark submitted. Okay. Thank you. I don't have a password for Chang. A little Chinese up here. The go to your office is zero four five one. There's always a zero four five one. Oh, uh, okay, no worries. You just look away. Come back when you're ready. Bam! I've got a fancy office. And you too. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. Uh, okay. Got the plan you requested, and you're safe. Utilities. Watch me, Morgan. Hello, Morgan. This LGV file should clear things up. Make sure you loom when you hit play. Okay, then. I'm loving the music and telling you. I might have to get a copy of the soundtrack. Hello, Ooh. Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. And your memory's shot full of holes. I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. Okay. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process to bring you back up to speed between test runs. But someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not gonna like what I have to say next. Okay. If I found every one of those damn videos, sorry, I, I can't let you listen to that. Not until I've had a chance to explain everything in person. For now, just damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight, please. Okay, so the brother's up to some no good luck. You made it. 
Still don't know what happened. I've put it behind me. There's no reason we can't be civil. You passed me in the hall today. Sorry, Morgan. Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. He invented the Looking Glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck. All right. Okay. Got any more junk? Uh, yeah. Okay, and Let's see what we go with that. Through a glass darkly. So I can fabricate a wrench. Fabricators use fabrication plans to create dozens of useful items aboard Talos 1. Talos? Talos 1. Each item fabricated consumes a combination of organic, mineral, synthetic, and exotic materials. Okay, fair enough. Get a dispenser for operators. Here then. Ooh, he's in the walls. Don't have the key card for that. Alright, well, that's, um, out, see what else we got in here. Take an apple. Another day, keeps the mimics away. I think that's what this is, isn't it? Some mix there. Motherfucker. Proximity sensor reset. Here's the mimic helmet turret. Come on, basics. Use a vanishing environment tools to come out. You don't have to fight every enemy head on. Use alternate routes to sneak past tough enemies, get the drop on them. If you intend to fight, disable an enemy's first with tools like the glue cannon can increase your odds of surviving. Is that a hint to say in this next fight I need to use the glue cannon? Pistol. Oh, it's silence as well. So I'm stuck in stick with the glue though first. Um, one more round. I'm sure there was three, and I only killed two. Oh, you dirty bitch! You can be a weapon. Okay. 
Seriously? Surprise attack on the Mimic. Okay, where am I going? I'm going this way. Um, more spare parts. Some monsters that are off. Spare parts. Cycle the shit out of that. Ugh. Actually, why don't we just shoot that? Did the trick? Yes, that's confirmed. Okay, we're very good at this. Technological marvels such as looking glass terminals are prototyped and developed in the hardware labs. You don't say. What's everyone think of this game? It's very interesting. Come on, finish saving. I'm sure I'll find some glue ammo in here. Back on the wrench for now. I don't have much of anything. Oh, what the shit is that? Yeah. It's a lot of fuel. Got something else out in the space that blew the shit up. Oh god. Ah, fuck that patrol and I thought it disappeared. went in this direction as well. Shit. Suit integrity damaged. Suit is damaged. The better condition suit. Oh, fuck's sake. Use a super packet. Uh, okay, I'm gonna glue it. Was stupid. There's still a mimic around here. You. Suit integrity damaged. Fuck you. This is game is getting stressful. Okay. 
Okay. So I'm gonna have to go down there. Let's can I get can I get over the bow actually? So right, what did he do there? He just, he just basically show me what I need to do. Okay, I don't know. I'm all for this actually. Fucking helpful, isn't it? It's almost out of party here. So I'm heading down. Right, okay. Charge. Nice. EMP charge emits a burst of electromagnetic energy, highly effective against robots, turrets, and other electromagnetic entities. Based entities. Why? God, I cannot speak tonight. further in this direction. I'm supposed to use the MP charge here. Nope. That isn't a force field. Nope, can't do that either. So it seems that it has its limitations on the glue. Get the bed. Oh, fuck me. Vital science critical. Oh, no, this is going to be a guaranteed way for me to get myself killed. Oh, no, not you as well. Shit, shit, no, shit, I'm going to die. I'm going to fucking die. I'm going to fucking die. Fuck off. Suit's fucked. I'm fucked. Oh shit, no, 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 no. Oh, 
Fuck, 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 fuck. I have no healing items. Kill me, really, shouldn't I? There we go. Didn't stand a chance there. Um, don't know how far back that puts me. Probably the beginning of this level, to be fair. Actually, you know, I have some Nero mods. Forgot about that. Scientist, we got. Um, yeah, we'll take that one. Completely forgotten that I had that. I really want to go into the room with a nasty thing. Food. You don't need it anymore. Another one of them around. Lots of creepy noises. Something is not happy with his life choices. I find the key for that.
special parts requests, prototypes. We should be able to fix your looking glass terminal from Dr. Calvino's workshop. Right. Okay. Right. I'm in here. It's quick save. Trying to place with the sound where things are. Sound. Okay, got him. That went exactly the plan. Totally what I meant to do. Now, weapon upgrade kits. Do you want kits like the weapon you wish to upgrade in your inventory and press R? Okay. Uh, inventory. Firepower. Okay, right. Let's do another quick save there. A little bit safer that we killed that thing, but I'm not convinced I'm still alone. God, this game has got me on so on edge. Say for a minute, yeah. Where was it? I guess it went through there. some glue as well. Um, can we upgrade this? Yeah, we're going to upgrade that. Incapacitation rates. Handling. Oh, I know. We want to increase the speed that we incapacitate somebody. Excuse me. Stuck on that. It's 
that out right. Utilities. Download the map, excellent. Triumphs with the atrium. We've got Dr. Kelvin's workshop, demonstration stage, the ballistics lab, machine shop, exterior. Operator, okay. F manifold. What I did there, but it did something. Um, Hundred labs. You looking for? Find Clive Lawrence in the hardware labs. Calvino, that's who I'm looking for. He's not on the labs. Oh, there, Lorenzo Calvino. Transition player objective. I get upstairs because that looks like where Dr. Calvino is going to be. Of course it is. Oh, they're down here. Okay. Calvino it is upstairs. is making that noise. I want to lock it, I want to unlock it. Ugh, right, okay, reset the security alarm. That's going to be annoying. You know, I'll carry you with me. I'll drop you here. I'll deploy you there.
Alright, let's deploy this. Gotcha, bitch. I'm gonna get repair two for that. Okay, well that shuts him up. Oh my god. Oh! Feed this to an end operator after you memorize group workstation password, macro 11. Right, emails. You win. To whomever, give my dear Mr. Gloom and Gloof his arms. At first I thought the jelly deal hat could not be topped. I stand corrected. Your triumphant creation of baseball glove hands cannot be equaled. Remember, if you need supplies from the machine shop, the supply closet's key code is 3087. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh. I'll take the cigar, I'll take the banana. Actually, you know what? Yeah, whatever I get to put in the recycler. Hello, my name is Gluey McGlueface. Thaddeus York. Thaddeus, please keep it on Franklin. The man spends far too much time on personal projects and recreational pursuits. We're all human, I get it, but I'm worried he may try to use the propulsion system to access unauthorized areas. As discussed down in Cargo Bay, I found something curious in an outboard container on my shift. I think it's a fabricator plan for an autonomous turret, stashed with a bunch of old capacitor cells slated for a delivery to the Pythias facility. Maybe an accident, I don't know, but one of the officers put it in the, in the safe and life support security station. Okay. Dr. Calvino isn't feeling well enough to present the latest looking glass tech to our visitors, so I'll be away for the lab's extended period. I've left everything in order while well, I'm case I need the key code in my office. It's 9773. Oh, okay. I don't know where that is. That is uh, down there somewhere. Stop it! Bad mimic! Here's a two floor office. Shit. Um. Some health kits laying around. My new reployer, Dr. Thorstein, is one new Percy. Thank you, Ray, for the new reployer. I know some people have been waiting on have been on waiting list to get one of these, and it was a pleasant surprise to find a new one in my office this morning. It is this feeling of gratitude that makes it awkward for me to trouble you further? However, if you could spare one of your engineers for a bit, it would be great. Okay, and part requisition. I wanted to clear a Morgan request again. Morgan was down the hardware bay, just stand there as if not sure where to go. 
When I offered to help, Morgan asked for more operator parts. I asked if the last ones we had sent hadn't been sufficient. I got a blank look. I mean, no offense to Morgan's requisition enough to repair any operator in the station five town. Okay. That's obviously when my memory started going. Take that. Um, something mid drippy. stairs down in his office. No, we don't have code for his safe. So I'm stealing everything here. <gasps> yes, right, take that just in case. I need to find a suit repair kit. That needs to be very high on my priorities at the minute. Back here, you little shit. <sighs> Fuck you. Cooking with cauliflower. No one needs to cook with cauliflower. Um, let me take that. Right, so I have more glue. To the Thorson's office. That's what I was doing in here. I was so rudely interrupted by the little fucking mimic thingy. Alright, so it's just. Okay. I think I've done everything I can, so let's go find uh, Lorenzo. I was supposed to all along. I don't know any more neuro mods, do I? Oh, I do. Um, I need four to get in repair two. Okay. Yeah, that'll be him. That side of the lab was breached. Hard vacuum. No gravity. There's an exterior airlock in the machine shop you could use to reach him. You'll have to upgrade your suit with a propulsion system first. Okay. Med Bay. Right, med kit fabrication plans, that's what I want. Um, requesting new operator. Hello. Transtar Pyramid 490 Medical Class Operator ready to deploy. Please stand clear of aperture. I did not know this was a thing I could do. Pardon me. Pardon you indeed. to prevent that. 
Hit by an arc electricity with a broken electrical gun. Blue temporarily stops the arcing. Okay. No, I'm not going to consume a medkit. I'm going to go find me little robot buddy. He's still floating about here. I didn't see you there. Of course he didn't, because I walked up behind you. Diagnosing. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, those places seem better days. Do some more glue to be fair. Walking salt diagnostic. Files corrupted. List. Series. Service. Servo. Alright. Sorry, I'm not talking here. This, as usual, still sections made me go quiet. I think I got away from him. Alright. Let's see the maintenance hatches. Okay, that's not going to get me anywhere. Something blew up there. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Logging salt diagnostic. Files corrupted. List. Series. Service. Servo. Shit the bed. Um right. 
how the hell am I going to get up there then? 3087. No, wrong one. Come on, Michael. 3087. We need to up the reload speed on the glue cannon. Actually, it's a slow on this thing. Inventory. With that. You know, I agree. Reload speed is shit on it. Can we upgrade the wrench any? No, we can't upgrade that one. <laughs> uh, okay. Still can't pick up the mimic tumors, don't know why. What is that warning symbol for? Seriously? Son of a bitch. Why would you jump out of there? Okay, how's this waste? And how do I make that come over here? Fucking bastard, man. Right. Um, can we get a repair skill yet? No, I need one more Neuromod to get repaired to. So what does that mean I can do? Fix grab shafts, type of gears, recyclers. Okay. Results there. Um, your Transtar uniform has been designed for your safety, comfort, and to facilitate your work. The uniform must be worn at all times while on board the station. While every effort has been made to make Talos a comfortable and safe place to work, there will always be a chance of accident or hazard. Effectiveness. Don't sweat it. Cuts away. And all that. Sorry for the bolts of the machine shop. It's really the only place I can try out the new gun. Okay. The satellite present in the repair bay of the machine shop is scheduled to be decommissioned. However, Dr. Kellstrip has requested we remove the psychotronic transistor element and install them in the new satellite. Okay. Need that fabricator plant. I right, might as well offload some of my junk as well. You don't need two pistols, I don't need that. What's that? Right, hard drive, frayed wire, burn circuit board, lemon peel, baseball gloves, cigar, uh, coil, asteroid fragments. Okay, we'll keep them actually. Uh, 
Okay, recycle them. Okay. Alright, so let's get a med kit. Let's face it. Actually, we need. Might as well get that. Oh, well, this actually, this this mechanic, this is pretty cool. Well, space while falling to glide or slow your descent. Marvelous. Um. Okay. Bullets is always good. Take some more. I need to find a plan for the uh, for glue. All right, ninety pistol rounds. That's better. MP charge. MP charge. Franklin. I completed an objective, I did a thing! Right, what now? Right, so, see, I've got to get Lorenzo, haven't I? Every airlock has a manual seal you'll have to disengage before you can space warp. While engineered as a safety measure, it's irrelevant when the enemy is already inside the station. If you do go out there, I wouldn't stray far. The Typhon may have spread to the exterior. And remember, other airlocks you find will have to be opened from the inside first. Oh, lovely. Looks like you've already got a propulsion system, so you should be fine maneuvering. All right, then. Here we go. Oh, so it's not real time. I've got to go through a loading screen, have I? That's a bit crap. Talos 1 orbits the moon some 385,000 kilometers away from Earth at 830 meters long. Talos 1 research facility's largest known structure in space built by humankind. Ah, so it's nearly, well, it's what, 0.8 of a kilometer long then. Not bad, really, about half a mile. I feel like I'm starting to get into the swing of it. I'm starting to understand it a bit better. Microgravity detected. Um, your translucent grip propulsion system to navigate in zero G. Use WASD to thrust, shift to boost, Q and E to break. Okay, you'll press Q and E together to break. There's Lorenzo. Okay, this is very rapture. There. I think we just kind of thrust and you just. Your momentum carries you. I 
Because then it's supposed to be explosive. I haven't got anything on the suit to indicate how much oxygen I've got. People losing their memories. So have I got that code now? That's the next question, right? I suppose I should head back inside. Lest I become food for something. It's actually quite peaceful floating around. Should we go get a look at Talos 1? Very pretty. It seems bigger from the inside. Right, okay, let's go. The breathing is um, really weird. <laughs> Like I say, it's very peaceful just floating around out here. There we go. Confirm. Okay. Okay, back in the hardware. 1955, Space Race begins when both the US and Soviet Union make rival announcements about their intent to launch a first satellite. Satellite, I tell you, a satellite. I don't know why I picked up on that word, but... <laughs> Excuse me. How is everyone this evening? Anyway, you're being very quiet. I don't know why Monkey's being quiet. Um, right. So now I get the locker code. Um, data, he's done that,
Fuck you, bitch. Uh, oh, hang on, my little medical robot friend is up here. Hello, good to see you again, Doctor Yu. Diagnosing superficial injuries, nothing affordable medical. <laughs> What's my current objective? Okay, well, hang on. I gave myself access to that, so I might as well have a look. Cancel forever. Please do not come for a lane. Let's go and watch out how 736. These monetary sessions are worthless. My design was stolen. Someone else got the credits for it. I need restitution, not talk therapy. I'll handle it myself. Right, hang on. There's no one to help me. I'll present all the information needed to prove my, that lane is trying to sabotage my career. His promotions are the result of my work. My work! There's no accountability in this company, as far as I can tell. I'll take this to Alex if I have to. Your previous 12 emails have <laughs> like the concern well enough. Okay. So this guy has an axe to grind. Uh, okay. Very nice. I want that. <laughs> oh. Cubing fires a concentrated of unstable particles that eventually cause dog to explode. Mint. Focus on grin the glue gun. Because I can, I can feel the glue gun is going to be a very important thing as we go. Let me find a suit repair kit. There and I cannot kill it. But conversely, it can't kill me. Come on. Let's right, so get the key card for that. We received reports there was an issue with the black box equipment in the guts, it's never reached the cargo bay. I'll speak to Josh soon. Okay, so my objectives now. So you find Josh Dalton. The key thing that we need to take away from this, though,
Ready to go. Oh shit! Fuck. Scared the shit out of me. This do we have one yeah. Power <laughs> Me like it. A robot. friend. Your old fireworks enabled for 30 seconds. Hey, spam emotes, people. Spam the emotes. It's an egg raid. Hey, Monocle. Uh, how are you doing, my friend? All things considered. Egg raid. Thank you for the host. Thank you for the love. You're all wonderful. Uh, hang on. I need to find somebody here. Sorry, yes. Hi, everybody. Gadget's got egg on his face. Oh! <laughs> oh, God. We have our fun, don't we? We have our fun. Who the hell am I supposed to I'm supposed to have a Josh somebody. Josh Dalton. There he is. Oh, thank you for the follow, Brian H1988. <gasps> One more follower. And I hit 250. And, oh, what's the date? 26th of July. Excellent. I said if I hit 250 followers by the end of July, I would do a big giveaway. Where am I going now? Um, second level? I have no idea where this place is supposed to be. There it is. Um, no. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Three and four. Oh, thank you so much, Egg. Location guts. There he's over there. You know, I'm hoping 300 followers will come at some point. It's the, it's the hope, anyway. But you never know. You never know. You just plod along, you play your game, you get attacked by hideous space creatures. Oh, I didn't see DZ came in with that raid there. Hey, DZ! It's marvellous. Thank you all for joining. Thank you all for being wonderful human beings. I love it when I get raided. I need to set up like a raid animation or something like that. I need to learn how to animate first, but yeah. I need to set up some kind of raid thing. I don't have a scene for raids. <laughs> so how are you, Egg, anyway? What were you playing this evening? I saw that you were streaming. I, just, I just didn't spot what you were playing. So I think it's Josh Dalton. You are awesome. You are indeed awesome. There's a guy up here. And over here. Out of you. 30 meters. Tricky Town. I watched. Um, what was I play? watching? Um, uh, oh. Go 8-bit TV show here based around gaming uh, and they were playing it 
And it is something I'm, I'm very, very interested in. Am I supposed to... I've lost where I'm supposed to be going. Who the hell is this Randall fella? Josh Rudd. Down over here. I will get it soon. It is payday next week. I shall pick it up then. Ah, fuck. Right, okay. So I can't get him for now. Oh, you're going to lurk. You got me in the big TV. Marvelous. Okay, well, lurk away, my good friend. Everyone should go love Flaming Monocle because he's a very good friend of mine. In fact, you should go, um, you should go love Twins Play Egg as well. He's a marvelous man. One of the funniest streamers I've ever watched, I have to say. Him and his brother. Da, da, da. Oh, we can unlock the trauma center now. This is no way, shape, or form. Oh, great. Biohazardous waste. Close to what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Shit, 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 um, E. I kill it? Yes, you should love everyone, to be fair. I think I killed it. That was a powerful one. Good morning, Talos. Our resident counselor, Dr. Cole, would like to encourage anyone experiencing symptoms of disturbed sleep, chronic stress, or anxiety to schedule an appointment in the trauma center. I best go to the trauma center, then. Give me my healing bot. Requesting new operator. Giant Star Pyramid 490 Medical Class Operator. God, the sound is so good. Please diagnose it. Isaac the Killer, thank you for the follow. That's 250. My god. Oh, it's so good. Neuro mod? Alright, I'll be doing a giveaway um, after payday then. Okay, got those. I'll have to think of something really good to give away. Sunburst banana pudding. Take that. Woohoo! 250. I mean, two meters away from glass. Why? I'm going to code for that. Let's go too much with him right now. Hello. Hello. Ah, so good. It's a great stream. It's a great game, actually. Biohazardous waste, that's just gross. Uh, right, okay, what are we doing? Oh shit, yeah, neuro mods. I got a neuro mod. Um, yes, you should play this game. If you like Bioshock, this game is very Bioshock y and very good. Um, upgrade your transfer, you home extra inventory space and that installation of two additional chipsets. Security. Combat focus. Enter a state of focus for 10 seconds, which slows time around you. Um, enemy signal will detect you when you're sneaking or crawling. Yo, you you go get your, all the food you need, Egg. Mm. Right, what do you all think?
think I should get? Combat Focus or Stealth? Yeah, it's on the, it's on the PS4. It's on all the consoles, I just haven't really played it on the PC. It's actually really weird. I bought it, I actually ended up buying the physical copy of it on the PC because it was £25, whereas buying it on Steam digitally was £40, or like through CD keys or wherever, it was like £30. So it was actually cheaper to buy the plastic fucking disc. Which is insane. Stealth. We're gonna vote for stealth. Let's go for stealth. Alright, okay. Uh, what was I doing? I was exploring. I was looking for things. Um, you're playing? Oh, okay. That's a test thing from the beginning. It is odd. It's just the way the market works, though, isn't it, really? Study show there is a significant likelihood of behavioral conditions psychotic. Oh, God almighty. Utilities, what have we got there? Behavior test, no, we've done the behavior test. Files. I really should get back to, to what I was doing in the engineering bay. Tell me about the dream. The dream. Yes. It's, um, it's always in my lab. And, um, <laughs> stop because you suck at stuff. Stop these. Matthias, please. Forgive me, but your name is. Right, I'm just gonna have to talk over the top. Yes, I do suck at stealth. Yes, I do. you did watch me play this on it. Thankfully, this game is not based on stealth. Well, that was unexpected. Devries seven three two four. For every soldier we lost, we were able to save a hundred civilians. Okay. Yes. Tragic. That was weird. Are you here for an appointment? Yes, I am actually. The cost was worth it, both in lives and the superficial injuries. Nothing affordable medical care can handle. All done. Fighting, not enemy troops, but the equivalent of a natural disaster. It wasn't natural. It was man-made. Pop star energy drink. Because this station, it's the same thing, a disaster waiting to happen. We are well trained and poorly equipped. The research is dangerous. Um, Keeping secrets secret is dangerous. I'm sure you would agree. These psych evals are a waste of time. Wait, please, 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 the chair on top fix the medical operators being sitting near the desk. You know what, I'll do his job for him. Okay. Those files were supposed to be closed. Are you angry? I'm getting there. Any new relationships? DeVries. No, I thought you and Foy, the do we have any way to get into DeVries' office or to find DeVries, wherever he may be? Screw this! I'm done. Report 
Report me to the U's, I don't care. They're putting the station at risk just like Transtar North and just like on Earth's... You assholes will bury it with your psych about bullshit. And another thing. Very angry woman. Right, okay, I've got a feeling I'm probably not supposed to be at this bit now, so... A quick scan of scan through this computer, but unless we find any codes, right, we'll get utilities. Oh, area map. Yep, download that. It's worth looking at then. Um, okay. Pro trauma center. Where? Vree's doing that high up. Okay, back. Booster shots. No. Coming casualties. Do not admit Sylvian Bellamy to the trauma center. Take him to Psychotronics immediately. Okay, so where's Psychotronics then? Lift security. Okay, so psychotronics is off in a different direction. Quite. It seems like they've laid this world out really openly, and I actually quite like it. I can't get to the shuttle bay yet, and that's where I need to go to get one of the objectives done. So let's go back to. Is that something down there? No. Okay, fair enough. Where I'm supposed to be going. Just through here. Um, it's over there, actually. I haven't been over here yet. Wrench time. Fuck you. Yes, it's definitely worth a buy. I mean, I've been playing it now for... How long? 2 hours 19. I barely scratched the surface of it. Fair. If you like Bioshock, you'll love it, John. Absolutely love it. I need to get a wrench. And the mimics are horrific. Can't ship at home has already been noticed. One month pay makes it go away. Getting on PS4 sometime. Do it, do it. It's been in a lot of sales as well, so all I can think of is it hasn't sold very well. At least on console. <laughs> Fucking shit, son of a... Motherfucker. I hate that they do that. Uh, oh, ooh. Oh, <laughs> Just pull the form data with zero damage. No for ability to annoy co-workers, distract enemies, remotely trigger buttons and screens. I got a toy gun. This game has a toy. It's got a nerf crossbow. What more do you want? I've seen some um nerf things over here. So I'm assuming at some point there must be a puzzle where I've got to use this from a distance. Um, okay, back to the workshop. I might as well get some raw materials, actually. Uh, right, okay, what have I got that's useless? Shiny sci-fi raw materials. I'll craft some stuff when we get into the workshop. Confirm. Right, okay, I wanna, I'm going to get through a few bit. I need to end the stream soon anyway, but 
We'll get through a few bits and pieces. Because it's like half eleven, and I had like four hours sleep last night, and I'm very tired. Work is stressful. You see, this is a proper PC game. This is a game that feels right for the PC. I've heard it's good on console as well, but it feels right for the PC. It does make me ache, though, for the, for the old prayer, the original prayer. Yeah, it's made for the PC. It has a quick save. <laughs> I don't think I have... Enough. I can glue them. So John, you'll probably enjoy this. So we glue him. And then we shoot him. Charge to knock this bastard out. It's not decide whether he's in found you or fuck you. Alright, back to the gun. They're like awake again. Right through a glass darkly. We're Dr. Calvino's workshop. What do we got? Corrupt coil, plastic tubing. Connect a plug. I need to plug it in. Tell me it wants a tutorial or something. Uh, probably works. Search logs, search password, search for for clues. Use hacking ability bypass login. Okay, well, it's not a login issue, it's a power issue, I think. something up in this place. Right on drive. As a matter of fact, okay, it's just contextual bollocks. Custom travel mug. This is Dr. Mary, this is Dr. Calvino. I require a fabricated travel mug that weighs about 170 grams, empty of course. My feeble hand needs a lightweight container for my coffee. I'll be sure to get a good word for Dr. Thorsten for your assistance. Shit, wrong button. Clive, this is Dr. Calvino. I need to modify his scale so when it reaches 170 grams, it sends an on off signal. Please let me know when it's ready. Now look at the specs you sent me. You see a few problems. Didn't realize you offloaded so much of the processing and storage. What if someone took the wrench to the main server? Could it be that I have to put a cup on something? It has a scale for 100 and s precisely 170 grams. No. Okay, that's some shit going on out there. I don't know what that is. Back 
Chuck made mac and cheese out of pub cheese. Nice. <laughs> if Twitch has razor blades, you don't need razor blades, Sneaky. How are you doing? Power control terminal. Ah, that looks like it. Where's, where's, where's my cup gone? Seriously? Power there. Because ah, that's 229. It's 229 regardless. I'll get I'll I'll give you that sneaky. Ooh, new mod, new mod. Enzo Calvino's cabin. I'm alright, yeah, I'm doing well. Okay, so I've got a key card for that. Still doesn't change the fact I got no fucking power. Must be missing something really obvious here, like painfully, idiotically obvious. Control, this is me. The med kit in there that I quite like, but I can't get to. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -bum. Sure, it's just as simple as connecting something up to here. I need to find the damn wire first. I think this is... no. So I've got no buttons to do anything. <laughs> Or I could just hit power on. Frame rate's been a little bit iffy. I don't, I'm not 100% sure it's optimized well on the PC. But it's too far I'm playing on kind of like custom settings, so it's kind of it's not the highest, it's not the lowest. God, I'm an idiot. Okay, network utilities. My God, I got a connection server and everything. This is like this is like being at work. Network servers. As you said, something obvious, yeah. Nice work, Morgan. The looking glass screens are online again. Head back to your office as soon as you can. It's important you hear the rest of your message. I might have destroyed my screen. It's running? Light field capture looks a little hot. Where's the photometer? The handheld. D did you take it? No. Right, okay, let's run back to the office. Um... And I need me, need me glue. Yeah. Let's run back to the office. Fuck these guys, fuck these guys in the face. Um, you. I'll watch the message and then I'll end the stream. I think that seems reasonable, don't you? Actually, it's a really good game.
57, Soviet Union launches Sputnik 1, the world's first satellite. Uh, it's The frames aren't jumping here, so it must be your internet sneaky. Unless anyone else is seeing any jumps in frames. But I've literally, I've got, I haven't dropped a single frame this entire time. I, don't know, I mean, I haven't got frame counter on, so I don't know what my actual frame rate's like. That was a bit slow there as it loads in. Right, so where's my office? Shit, my office is all the way over there. Whoa, you're new. I made an executive decision to leave him the fuck alone. over again I think. I can't even remember how I got to my own offices. Good morning Talos. All personnel should report to their workstations for the day. If you expect to be absent for any reason, please inform your immediate supervisor. Oh, he took a bit of killing didn't he? Okay this is something new. Let's go back to glue. Bugger, aren't you? Yeah, I might have broke that before. You're not gonna like what I have to say next. You have to destroy Talos One. The research, the Typhon, nothing can survive including you. I know how it sounds, but you've seen what those creatures can do. They're a part of you now. If even one cell gets back to Earth, we're lost. I'm sorry. I wish there was another way. January can walk you through activating Dude, the self-destruct mechanism. Alex will try to stop you. He's allergic to failure. Too proud to go back to mom and dad with his tail between his legs. So it's up to you now. Good luck. Told you you wouldn't like it. Lovely. Hello, January. Hello, Morgan. I'm January 2035. I'm an operator. There are many operators aboard Talos One. But none of them are like me. Morgan. I'm your plan B. My first task was to free you from the simulation. The second task was to make sure you saw your video. Those are done. Interesting. New directives are now available to me. The self-destruct protocol for Talos-1 is activated by two arming keys. Your brother has the first. You had the second. Alex destroyed your arming key. But you hit a fabrication plan for a new one in deep storage. That's where you need to go next. We can worry about getting Alex's key afterwards. The Typhon are spreading fast, Morgan. You'll be racing against them. And your brother. This key card will grant you access to the main lift and all the labs. The main lift is the fastest way to reach deep storage. Okay, then. 
shit's out of key card. Next topic. You asked me to provide you with more neuromods, which I've done. Good luck, Morgan. I have more autonomy than a typical operator. The contents of the video are sensitive. Only a flesh and blood person could handle the responsibility, I presume. Okay then. Right, okay, so how many neuromods? I've got. S fuck me, I've got seven neuromods now. Um, right. Increase recycling yields, impact calibration, reduce stamina cost of wrench attacks. I'm using the wrench a lot, so actually, that's going to be worthwhile. Get leverage one. Break down equipment, your inventory, and spare parts, and recover spare parts from destroyed operators or suit modification. Mm. Oh, movement speed. That's what we want. Yeah, he's like a floating talking suitcase. This is, you get different kinds of them in this one, so. Like he's a general operator, then like if you want the med bay, you get medical ones that heal you and stuff like that. It's all it, it's all very half life, to be fair. Uh, all right, okay. Bullets, wrong button. Um, and you, all right, okay. Take all these items. I need to find a fabricator next. Oh, like that one. Uh, right, okay, how many med kits do I have? Two. So let's do. No, oh, press that. Great. Trust me, it's got a really real Half Life feel about it, especially with the wrench. And to be fair, yes, Half Life 2 is still one of the greatest games ever created. I'll fight anyone to the death who tells me, tries to tell me otherwise. Crafting ingredients. Okay, right. Um, that, that. So I have to go down the main lift now, right? Okay, you know I'm going to leave this here. So this is good, seems a good place to leave off, and it's late as well. So thank you all for watching. Thank you, Egg, for the epic raid. Thank you for all the new followers. Uh, streaming again? What Half Life or this game? I'm going to stream this again probably tomorrow night. To be fair, I'm really, really enjoying this. I can't believe I put it for so long. No, you've never played Half-Life! My god, man! Monkey! Honestly, go and play Half-Life. Half-Life 1, it's a bit it, bit janky. Play it by today's standards. Play Black Mesa instead. Half-Life 2, Stone Cold Classic. And they updated the engine a little while ago, and it's really, really good. You definitely need to play Half-Life 2. Play Half-Life. To be fair, they're not contextually together. One doesn't link into two particularly well, so... <laughs> TK is giving you Half-Life 2. Well, you play it. Fucking play it. Stream Half-Life 2. I might stream Half-Life 2 in the future. To be fair, it's a very long game to stream. Anyway, that, 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 that's besides the point. I'm going to go to bed now. So thank you all for watching. Thank you, Egg, for the epic raid. Thank you, Monaco, for hanging out. Thank you, Samiki, Butamus, Monkey, Sneaky, Fijuano. Anyone who's new who hasn't seen this before, please do follow. Please do like, subscribe. You know, you can do all that if you want to leave me bits and cheers and all that kind of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be back tomorrow night with some more pray for now. Thank you for watching and good night.